Hey there, welcome to today's episode. And what we're going to be looking at here is stem splitting inside of Logic Pro for the iPad. Now, this was just introduced in a latest update, and I'm pretty excited by it because unfortunately, Koala Sampler stem splitting has always been a little lackluster to me. And we're actually going to do a side by side comparison here because it's my understanding that this new Logic Pro version is pretty clean. I haven't had a chance to test it. I'm going to do it live here on the video, but we'll definitely do a side by side between each device and see which is cleaner. Now, the first thing we need, of course, is a sample. I've got one loaded up here, and I've tried to choose something that hopefully won't get me stung by the YouTube algorithm. Through with the shadowy past, I am hurling to another world where life is blue. And you can see I've just got that looped up there. Now we're going to start by splitting it inside of Koala. So let's move over to tools. We're going to do split stems. I want to do all of this section in real time so you can see how fast it is. But we have our drums, vocals, bass, and other. Let's choose split. And you can see it working here. It's pretty quick. Just for reference, this is a 12.9 sixth generation iPad Pro with the M2 chip. And what I like about Koala, of course, is once it's split the stems out for you, it keeps the original version, but it also labels these nice and clearly for you. And if we start by taking a listen to the vocal. With the shadow we passed, I am hurling to another world where life is. So, as you can hear there, it's okay it's splitting stems. The vocal's relatively clean. You can definitely hear some of the other instruments inside of here. I can hear a little bit of the drums, but in a pinch, the stem splitting inside a koala would get you by. You could definitely take some of these little elements out, use them as samples, chop them up. Next, let's take a listen to the drums. Okay, so not bad with the drums there. They're not the cleanest. You can definitely hear some of the other instruments in the background. There's definitely that kind of artifact sort of feel to it. But again, could you pull out a snare drum or a kick drum or something? Yes, you definitely could. And then you could play around with that. So let's move on to the bass. Not a bad result, pretty muffled in its sound, but of course it's trying to pull that bass line out from a bunch of other instruments. And again, yep, you probably could use some of this, you could sample it, you could play around with it, EQ it a little bit, but it definitely has a bit of a muffled artifact kind of sound. So let's move on to other, which I'm going to assume is all of the other instruments in this sample. So not bad with this one, certainly some artifact kind of sound. There's definitely leakage from some of these other instruments coming through, even the vocal a little bit, some of the drums. But again, you could take some of these, you could chop those samples up and you could work with them. This video isn't designed to knock Koala Sampler in any kind of way because I love Koala Sampler. But having experienced MPC stems, Ripex stems, even things like Moises, Koala has unfortunately always been kind of the weakest link there. But of course, what we're hoping for is that the Logic Pro version is pretty good because then I can bring those samples back into Koala hopefully without too much pain. So let's skip over and take a look at the Logic Pro version. We have Logic Pro here. You can open this up and I don't have any projects on the go. So we're going to create a new project. I need a track and I need an audio track. Next, I need to locate the sample. So I'm just going to slide this up here, grab my folders app, move that over to the right for a second. I know this sample is called True. This is the WAV file that was used inside of Koala. It's exactly the same WAV file. And once we've dragged that over into Logic, we'll just close this up. We'll just move this to the front. And I believe inside of Logic, we double tap this and we do stem splitting. You'll notice here it gives us exactly the same options as Koala Sampler for vocals, drums, bass, and other. And for complete transparency, we're going to do this in real time. So let's click split. Wow, that was almost instantaneous. So I have to say I'm pretty impressed with that. However, I genuinely haven't had a chance to listen to these or try this out. So I'm interested to see how clean these are. So let's try our vocals by soloing those and playing these. With the shadow we passed, I am hurling to another world where life is bliss.
And yeah, as a first impression, pretty happy with that. Certainly a lot cleaner than Koala. I'm not hearing the other instruments in there. I think you're always going to get some slight artifacts. It felt like the vocal dropped out a tiny little bit. But overall, I think it's pretty good. And it sounds like there's a little reverb or something added just to kind of smooth things out. Next up, let's take a listen to these drums here. So we'll solo those. We'll move the track back to the beginning. And again, I've got to say that's pretty darn clean, certainly in comparison to the Koala version. So far, my experience, I feel like this is certainly on par with the NPC stems and with Rip X. It's pretty clean. I wasn't hearing too many artifacts in there, certainly wasn't hearing any of the other instruments. So that's going to be pretty useful for our projects. Let's now skip over and take a listen to the bass. We'll solo the bass line here, move the track back again. With this one, I wouldn't say it was a huge difference between Koala, it's still definitely better and it is still cleaner, but still a relatively muffled sound on the bass, but certainly less leakage from some of the other instruments there. So finally, let's skip back and take a listen to other, so that's all other instruments inside of this sample. Just move the playhead back again. And with that one, I would say, yep, definitely better than Koala. Certainly less leakage from the other instruments like spilling over and the vocals. Still has a little artifact kind of sound to it. But I think if you chop that thing up, you EQ it a little bit, certainly going to be some usable stuff that you could take. So overall, I have to say, I'm pretty impressed. I do think it's comparable to NPC stems and Rip X. And what I'm kind of hoping now is that say we want the drums here, we could solo those and then just export this as a project. So if we do export... And then rather than naming it and doing a bunch of other things here, I'm just going to click share. And yeah, this is what I was hoping for, is that we can actually just send this directly back to Koala. So now we have our drums back in Koala here. So yeah, that's pretty darn cool. If we skip back to Logic, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring all of these stems back over so that we can just test this out. So let's do the vocal next and bring that over into Koala as well, just so that we can side by side all of these samples. Let's do export, share and then find Koala again. Let's now take the bass line here. And finally, let's just grab the other section as well. And now that we've got all of the stems from both applications, we can do some side-by-side -side testing. And what I've done here, just for a completely fair comparison, is I grabbed all of the samples and I've just normalized them all, just to make sure that they're all at max volume. And while I've got them all selected as well, I'm going to put them into a choke group, just so that as we're playing back, we can skip between them. I've also made sure they're all one shots, just again, so as we're skipping through, it's going to be easier. And then I've labeled these as Logic Drums, Logic Vocal, Logic Bass, and Logic Other. So we're going to start with the vocals, and I'm just going to switch between the two as it's playing through. Let's start with Koala. Through with the shadow we pass through with the shadow we pass and you can definitely hear how much cleaner that logic vocal is let's now do a quick one with the drums and we'll bounce back and forth again starting with koala drums have to say those logic drums are really really clean next up let's do the bass test so starting again with koala bass And on my first listen of this, I didn't actually think Koala had done too bad a job with the bass, but actually when you hear it against the Logic bass side by side, and even taking a look at the waveform here, you can see how much cleaner that is. They are both still a little muffled, but the Logic one definitely wins out again. And finally, let's do the other test here, so all other instruments from the sample, starting with Koala. <laughs>
And unfortunately for Koala, Logic wins again there. It is definitely much cleaner in terms of its stem separation. But as I said, this is not a video to knock Koala Sampler in any kind of way, because ultimately what I want here is all of that stem splitting technology inside of Logic that I can use inside of Koala to chop up and do my usual thing. It also means for a setup like this, when I want to play with stems technology and actually have that used with the SP404 Mark II, that's now really simple because it's on the iPad. And so I think this latest update has just opened up a whole world of opportunities and yes, yeah, some just really, really clean stems. And with that said, I'm going to end this video. I don't want it to be any longer than it needs to be. I hope it's been useful to you. I hope you've enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next episode.